Butler allows you to set the boundaries for individual quilt blocks. These custom sized quilt areas are called pattern boxes. To create a pattern box, go to Home, Pattern Box, Add Pattern Box. The screen will prompt you to move the machine to the leftmost point of the bottom of your base line. We'll discuss what a base line is in just a minute. For now, move the needle to the bottom leftmost point of your quilt block. When the needle is over this point, press the Add button. Continue to trace the edge of the quilt block, adding points along the way. When it is time to add the last point, press the green check mark. You'll notice two things. First, we have text and an arrow icon on our screen. The text is telling us that we are viewing pattern box number two of two. The first pattern box is the original quilt area. The second pattern box, the one we are viewing, is the pattern box we just created. If I wanted to go back to the quilt area, I would press the arrow icons to navigate between pattern boxes. I want to add a pattern to my quilt block. When I add the pattern, notice that the pattern is slanted sharply to the left. Why is that? Remember that when we created the pattern box, it asked us to place the first point at the leftmost point of our baseline. The first two points we created for the pattern box are the baseline, or bottom, of the pattern box. All imported patterns will orient with the baseline by default. If we wanted, we could rotate the pattern, but I'm okay with it as it is. However, I do want to scale it to fit as much as possible into the pattern box. I'll use Smart Scale without constraining proportions. In the next tutorial, we will cover how to flip, rotate, and mirror patterns.